It's time to set up our new watering system. Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. This is Kevin. Well, we got the uh, uh, weed paper put down in the garden. Uh, that was, uh, you know, not a terribly bad job to do, except uh, we've had 30 mile an hour wind gusts the last two days. Uh, so there were a few times where uh, we almost went for a ride. <laughs> But uh, we got it down, uh, we got the staples in, I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, you know, it may not be a bad thing that we've had this strong wind because we were able to see where we need to put more staples and uh, so far they seem to be holding it really well. So uh, today is the day that we're going to get the watering system put in because we're hoping either by this evening or tomorrow to actually start putting plants in. Uh, we're actually now right on the edge where uh, if we wait much longer we're going to be falling behind. So we need to get the plants in the ground. So um, I just wanted to go over with you uh, what we're doing for a watering system. Um, you know, in Missouri, we get a quite a bit of rain. Uh, so hopefully we won't need to use this real often. Uh, but last year in the summer, we went something like 10 weeks, nine weeks, I think, without any rain. And we need to, uh, you know, be prepared for those uh, occasions where that happens. So uh, uh, what we're using is drip tape. Um, this is a little different than like a soaker hose or normal drip uh, tubing irrigation. So I thought I'd go over uh, kind of what the difference is for those of you who don't know. Uh, this is actually what we used in Arizona as well and we were really, really happy with it. So uh, regular drip irrigation tubing, which is the round tubing that you can buy like at Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, which is designed for like flower beds and things like that. Um, it, it, it's a similar pr uh, premise where it has drip emitters within uh, the tubing itself, uh, but those are designed for smaller areas, not, not large areas, and they require more water pressure than the drip tape does. Drip tape is specifically designed uh, to be able to be used over uh, very large areas, uh, even much, much larger than our garden, um, and they take very little water pressure uh, to be able to achieve uh, the watering. So that's the benefit of using drip tape is that, uh, you know, they're very, very efficient on water um, and you don't have to, you know, um, be having a ton of pressure. In fact, we'll be installing um, uh, a, a pressure uh, regulator uh, to actually decrease the pressure on our system once we hook this up down to only uh, 15 PSI. So, um, uh, so what we ordered, uh, we got all of this uh, from GrowerSolution.com, uh, which you guys know we're big fans of that company. Uh, when we live, you know, we live out where there's not a lot of stores around, so being able to have a place that we can order online um, instead of having to drive, you know, a couple hours to Springfield, we can order online and get things delivered right to us. Uh, so we love GrowerSolution.com. They have great pricing. Um, and we got all of this there. And don't forget that they have a coupon code for those of you who watch us. Uh, to save 10% off your order. Just use uh, the code TRADITIONALIST10 and you'll get 10% off anything that you order from them. So um, what we ordered was a thousand feet of the drip tape itself. Uh, this is the uh, main line tubing that will run the entire length of the garden and then all of the drip tape will come off of here. And then all of the uh, connectors and parts uh, that it'll take to hook everything up. So. Uh, I'm not going to hesitate. Uh, we're actually expecting some storms this afternoon, so we are going to uh, get started setting this up, and I'll bring you along and show you each step of the way. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is run the uh, main line, and that will run down this entire length of our garden. Um, on uh, the uh, end over here, we'll be putting uh, this uh, end right here, uh, which is the uh, pressure regulator. And then on the far end, we'll just be putting an end cap. Um, and then we'll just hold it in place with a couple of these staples, uh, which eventually we'll put more staples, but for now we'll just put one on each end. And that's the first step in setting this up. So to, to install the ends, uh, they're really easy. Uh, all you have to do is uh, push it on. And then once you have it in place, uh, this actually screws backwards, just like that, and that holds it in place and will keep it from leaking. So this is the end uh, that will attach uh, to our garden hose. 
And now we'll run this down to the other side and install the end cap. All right, so now that we have it run the entire length of the garden, we're just gonna cut the tubing. And we'll install that end cap. And the nice thing about drip tape too is that it, you know, you can always go back and extend things if you want to later on. Like this can just unscrew and then you can install another one on there so that you, you know, down the road, if we expand the size of the garden, we don't have to replace everything. It can just be expanded, so. So there we go. That is now running the entire length of the garden. We'll just hold it in place with one of these staples. And that's it. Now it's time to start installing the actual uh, uh, tape itself. All right, so it's time to uh, run our first row of the actual drip tape. Um, now, uh, I, I wanted to talk to you about a couple things. Uh, first of all, uh, we're gonna be running our drip tape on top of our uh, weed barrier. Uh, we did a lot of research. Uh, as you know, this is our first year growing with this weed barrier. So we did a lot of research to decide if we should run it on top of or below. Um, and the truth is there's no clear-cut answer. A lot of people are doing it both ways, and if they do it underneath, they swear that that's the best way, and if they're doing it on top, they swear that's the best way. Uh, we decided to do it on top uh, for the simple reason that that way, if there's a problem uh, with the watering system during the middle of the growing season, uh, we can actually address it instead of if it's underneath, um, then we need to worry about you know either trying to well, first of all, if it's underneath, we may not even know there's a problem. So uh, we just feel it's going to be easier to do it this way. So um, what we'll be doing is when we plant our plants, we'll try to plant them right where the drip emitters are on the tape. Now there's a drip every uh, 12 inches on this tape. So you can see there's a little slit right here. That's where the emitter is. And here you can see, so every 12 inches is where the water will actually come out. Uh, so let me show you the different parts that we'll need in order to install this first row. Um, you have this little tool here. What this tool does is it makes a hole in this main line tubing. Um, then this connector will actually fit inside of that hole and that's what will connect to the drip tape itself. Um, now, if you're like me, uh, chances are, at least at some point during the process, you're going to mess up. Uh, so you can buy uh, these little things right here, which are called goof plugs. Uh, so if you accidentally make the hole in the wrong spot, or if later on you change your mind and want to move it, uh, you can just uh, put one of those in the, in the uh, hole and plug it back up and put it where it's supposed to be. So uh, I always uh, like to have a few of these on hand. So. Um, and then we'll just uh, hold the hold it in place with some more of these uh, staples. So uh, we're going to run ours right down the middle of each of these uh, rows. So I'm going to just uh, go ahead and make my hole here in the tubing. Now I'm going to install the end onto the uh, tape here. And just like the uh, other ones, uh, once you get it on there, you unscrew it to lock it in place. And then this will just go into that hole. Just like that. And because of the low water pressure that you're using, that's why it doesn't you know, push that out. So uh, now we'll just uh, unroll this all the way down to the other end. I'm going to put one of these staples, one on each side like this, and that will hold that in place. Of course, it's the Ozarks, so it takes about three or four times to try to do something without hitting a rock. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this out, and we'll go to all the way down to the other end. All 
All right, so we've got it unrolled and I made sure that uh, there's no twists in it or anything like that. I've got the emitters uh, facing up, uh, so that way they will stay, they'll get less uh, dirt and things collected in them and we'll be able to tell easier if there's a problem where they're not, uh, there, there's no water coming out. Uh, so now uh, what I like to do is cut, uh, find where the, the emitter is that's closest to the end of your row and then I cut right there right after that emitter and the reason I do it that way is because I don't really want water coming right to the edge of the row because our first plant will be up here a foot in so uh, by doing it this way I can now fold that end over when I put the end cap on and we won't get water all the way to the edge of the row okay let me show you how to install these end caps so they go on like this first you push this all the way through then you fold the end of your drip tape and then it slides back on to create the end. Then we'll just uh, secure it with a staple. And it'll be perfect, it'll stay in place. That's all there is to it. It's really an easy thing to set up and really uh, can save your garden if uh, you know if there's a drought so uh, like I said in Missouri we get quite a bit of rain uh, but you need to be prepared you can't lose your entire year's worth of food um, because you weren't prepared so uh, that's that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get this done on every row in the garden and uh, then we'll turn it on and see how it works All right, so we got all of the rows hooked up, and now it's time to uh, test it out and make sure that it works. I uh, hooked it up to the garden hose. We'll just turn it on and see what happens. Now what we'll want to do is just walk around and you know, kind of make sure that it's coming out of all the uh, holes. And the most important thing is that you go to the furthest one away and make sure that there's water coming out of there because that's that's going to be the biggest deal is that if it makes it through the whole system. So we'll let it run for a couple minutes and we'll go around and check everything out. We're at the back car corner of the garden and we literally just, you know, walked over here after we turned the hose on and it's already coming out of the emitters back here. Uh, that's the beauty of uh, this working with such little pressure is it doesn't take much, you know, to get these working all the way to the back. So I'm excited. Um, you know, this uh, cloth does let the water through. It does uh, appear right now like it's pooling a little bit. I know that. Uh, but when we, the next step in this process will be to actually uh, burn holes in the plastic where the, um, where the plants will go. And we'll do that right by each emitter. So um, instead of watering on top of the plastic, it'll actually be watering right where that hole is burned and right onto the soil. So. Uh, that will uh, keep it, uh, you know, uh, it'll make it go right down directly by the plant and it will soak right into the soil. So uh, I'm really happy uh, with the way that this is working and it looks like um, it's going to be a great system for us this summer as, uh, you know, inevitably we go through some hot times probably without enough rain. So um, you guys, if this is your first time visiting our homestead, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Uh, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button and follow as we complete the garden this summer and start growing. Uh, if you're one of our traditionalists who comes back every day, thank you guys so much. And until next time, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.